Hi friends, PS Science here, and today we're going to see what we can learn from shadows. Now, what is a shadow? A shadow is basically anything that is casted when a light hits an object, because then behind the object, there will be a shadow. As you can see, just me sitting here, there's light hitting me from the front, and a shadow of my body is created behind me. Now, you can create a shadow with other objects as well. All you need is light. So the light hits the object, but it doesn't hit behind the object, and that creates the shadow. You can kind of see it. And most of the time we see shadows everywhere. We see them inside, outside, and that's due to the sun or artificial lights like light bulbs. So we're gonna see how the sun causes shadows and how shadows change throughout days and seasons. So we're actually gonna head outside for this. Okay, friends, we're outside now, and as you can see, I drew an outline of my partner's shadow at around 12.48 p.m., so that was not too long ago. And these two circles right here are where they stood, and we can see their shadow is casted that way, just like mine right here, because the sun is actually right there in the sky. It's not directly overhead, but it's not too low either, so it casts a pretty medium-sized shadow. So. It's 12, it, we took it at 12.48, but in a few hours, we'll come back and check on it and see how the shadows change with the sun moving throughout the day. All right, scientists. So now that we're back inside, I'm going to explain how a person's shadow changes throughout the day. So let's pretend this water bottle right here is a person. And then this will be our sun or our sunlight. So every morning in, of every single day, the sun rises in the east. So this right side right here is gonna be the east. So we see the sun starting to rise. And we can see immediately that there's a very long shadow on the left side of the water bottle. And then as the day progresses, the sun goes overhead. See the flashlight is going overhead until it's right on top of the person and there's basically no shadow. And the shadow has gotten really short at this point. So we see again that in the morning, shadows are long. And as the sun gets higher in the sky, the shadows start to get shorter and shorter and shorter until the sun is right overhead. But then the sun continues on its path as it starts to get later in the day. And we see the shadows once again get longer and longer until the sun is gone. And this happens every single day. And it's all called our day and night cycle when the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And that determines how long our shadows will be because when the sun is rising in the morning, we have very long shadows. But then in the middle of the day, they get shorter and shorter and shorter until they're as short as possible. And then as we progress into nighttime or closer to nighttime, we see our shadows get longer, but in the opposite direction. That's because the sun is on the other side. It's setting in the west. And then it eventually sets completely and then it, it turns to nighttime. So this is a constant everyday cycle. So most days your shadow will be a different length at a different time. And here's another cool idea that kind of explains how shadows work throughout the seasons. And that's because the earth is on a tilt when we rotate the sun. Um, and what this tilt means is that in the winter, the days are often shorter because we get less sunlight and the sun is actually at a lower place in the sky because of how our earth is tilted. So this little diagram right here, this bottom one, shows the sun's path. So if you were standing right here, the sun would be at a lower angle. And as we've seen, lower angles create longer shadows. So oftentimes in the winter, we have really long shadows. But then as the earth rotates and the seasons change, eventually after spring, there is summer. And in the summer is where we see the sun highest in the sky. This is the, the sun's path in the sky. So that creates the shortest shadows. And we also get the most amount of sun time, uh, sunlight. So in the summer, you often have shorter shadows, longer days. And then in the winter, you'll have longer shadows and shorter days. Now, before we sign off for today, let's go back outside and see how the shadow of my friend has changed over the past few hours. Okay, friends, it's been a few hours and we're back outside. I traced the shadow of my friend and that's the shadow on the right. So we see this one was marked at 1248 in the afternoon. 
and that's the shadow right here but then we see the shadow that was marked at 215 it is moved to the right and is slightly longer and that is because the sun actually traveled from left to right from our position so we see the shadow get longer and also move to the right it's pretty cool right that's it for today. Thanks for joining me and being a great shadow scientist. Now it's your turn to go outside and explore some shadows and see if you can find any interesting patterns. Have fun with it and see you guys next time. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.